Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. What I've got is Ruger's new American 9mm competition. It's got some, some significant differences from just the American 9mm. And I gotta say, some of these were really interesting to me and I wanted to give this a shot. I like the Ruger American. It's a classic, you know, Ruger 9mm. Um, you know, it probably wasn't my favorite 9mm. It was, you know, classic Ruger, built like a tank. This has got some features that I'm pretty interested in. Let's just start, you know, the first thing is, is it's a little bit longer. It's a competition model. It has a five inch barrel. Now, one of the things that I like with this is it's a stainless steel competition barrel. Now, the slide is also stainless steel but it's the black nitride finish and then the chassis is also same thing stainless steel black nitride now in the upper slide we have these vents now obviously they don't vent anything but they do decrease a bit of weight on the slide and honestly it makes no difference but they do look cool the sights on this are also different than the standard american we have a fiber optic front sight and then the thing that I really like is the fully adjustable rear sight. It's got these serrations on the back that are supposed to decrease, decrease glare. I don't know that I've ever really had a glare issue, but you know, I'll take their word for it. It is fully adjustable. And when I sighted it in, it adjusted really well and really easy. I like that. The other thing that I really like, and I think a lot of you are going to really like, is on the slide, it is now cut out, drilled and tapped, and it is ready to go for red dots. It's ready to go for uh, Vortex, Burris, and a couple others. You can check those out. Hey, real quick here, one thing that I have noticed that is a problem, could be a problem, is as I shoot this, I have now had three different screws work loose. Okay, so they, well, they're either obviously not Loctited or they broke loose. Before you guys go to shooting and stuff, take these screws out and Loctite them. Ruger should Loctite this before they send it off because I've already had three that almost worked their way out and I lost them. So don't forget that. Just like the other Rugers, it's got the little window here so we can see if there is a cartridge in the chamber, which I like. The other thing with this that is an improvement is the grips. We have the same replaceable grips here. We just unscrew this, they pop off, and we have small, medium, large, which is great. I'm really big into that for customizing as far as palm swell. This is a comfortable fitting gun. What's different is is the texture and to me this is a huge improvement i just went and held the ruger american and although it doesn't look a lot different it does feel a lot different we also have ambidextrous mag release which i like this gun is almost completely totally ambidextrous so it is good to go for righties or lefties. Another thing here is we have your 1913 or Picatinny rail here on the bottom. We have four slots. Breakdown on this is a huge bonus. I really like it. Um, all we got to do is pull back the slide. This little switch, it goes partly down. We drop out the mag. It flips all the way up and the slide comes forward and it's off. We pull our barrel out like pretty much any and every other nine mil out there. We slide it back on, get it back, pop that switch, and we're good to go. Love that. That is a huge improvement over a lot of previous Ruger nine mil models. I know because Ruger nine mil, I don't even remember what model it was, was one of the first Ruger nine, or was one of the first nine mils that I ever had almost 30 years ago. This is a huge improvement. On the slide, we also have serrations on the forward and rear end, which makes it really easy. Now, another feature that I really like on this is the pretension striker. Okay, 
without an effect on the trigger pull. What that means is we have the ability to have a pretty decent hammer strike and that's going to allow us a wider variety of ammunition because we should be able to overcome hard primers with the steel case stuff like Wolf and Tula. I have, I did do the sight in with this, did not have a single light primer strike, but we're gonna have some fun here at the range with more Wolf and test that out. Another feature that I really like is Ruger tested this for sustained use with plus P ammo, and it is, I guess, warranted for that, and that's awesome. It also comes with two nickel-coated Teflon mags. They are the 17 plus mags, and I like them. They load really easy. One thing that I did notice when I was loading the steel case is it goes in really easy on this. Some other gun manufacturers, you, you absolutely have to use the up Lula or mag loader to get steel cased in. These actually, it's so smooth and slick inside, these go in beautifully. All right, so that's sort of the basic housekeeping with this. Let's get it sighted in, see what kind of groups we get. We're going to run some different ammo, and and then we'll move out to difference and do some steel. Hey, shooting. I'm pretty happy with that. 50 yards shooting wolf at that distance, I think is great. Um, needs to need to make a couple adjustments though and bring it down just a bit. What I want to do now is reach out to the steel at 50 yards and see how we do with that. Nice, that worked for me. Really happy with that. Now I want to see what I can do at 100 yards with just the iron sights. I'm hoping to get a Burris uh, fast fire two or three or four red dot on here, but for right now, let's just test it with the iron sights and see what we can do at a hundred. Nice. I mean, you got to like that. I, w I was very pleasantly surprised with that. Um, I just reviewed Ruger's 57. Great gun, like it. But you know what? I can shoot this for, you know, sometimes we can get this 12 cents around. And if I can do that at 100 yards, it's awesome. I also did one on Ruger's PC. The effective range of a 9 mil with a 16-inch barrel, guys, it was beyond 400 yards being able to penetrate 3 inches of solid pine. So, you know what? Let's, let's try it. Let's try 200 and see if we can hit it at 200. Okay, if you follow my channel, you know one of my underlying core values philosophy is KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. This is why I'm running, I'm going to run a couple hundred rounds of Wolf and Tula through it because if it's reliable and it cycles and we have no issues and especially if it's accurate with that, we know that it's going to be good for any of the higher end brass case, you know, Hornady Federal, any of that. I've got my steel off here. It's kind of hard for you to see in the distance. But I got 20, 30, and 40. We're just going to go at it with the iron sights, have some fun, and see what we get.
Hey guys, if you like this video, if you follow my channel, make sure and check out our webpage. Use our links there. I've got links to PSA, Cabela's, Primary Arms, you name it. Anyway, when you use those links and go in and make purchases in it, it doesn't change the price or cost you anything. That helps support Beyond Seclusion. Uh, a lot of those I get commissions on and it helps feed this and keeps reviews coming also if you haven't checked out our amazon page that's where i find a lot of really crazy stupid deals on optics check that out and then i also have my online courses that i teach and have published these are awesome courses they get great view great reviews check them out for yourself anyway couldn't do it without your help thanks guys for your support This, this I think is, in my opinion, Ruger's best 9 mil yet. I think this takes the cake for all 9 mils up to that. If you were to get a Ruger 9 mil, I think this is the one. This is the one that I would be happy with. This is the one that I like. Um, I just can't wait to get a red dot. To stick on here and then see what I can do at some distance. So what is my take? What is my bottom line, final version on this newer Ruger American competition version? I like it. This, I really do like. It, it wasn't so much that I didn't like the American, but this has the added features that really, I guess, kind of get me excited and like it. It is comfortable, guys. It is really comfortable, and it's a good shooter. It's got modest recoil. And it really has, I think, all the features that you could possibly look for. I mean, it's ready for red dot. It's got the fully adjustable sights. I like that it's got a stainless steel slide and chassis. It breaks down super easy. I guess one thing, you know, the trigger could be better. I would like a trigger more comparable to my Springfield. I love my Springfield triggers. Um, this is, this is going to be less, though it's going to save you some coin. And, you know, the ambidextrous mag release and slide release. Yeah, guys, I think you're going to be happy with this. Next thing I want to do is get a red dot on here. Anyway, hopefully, guys, you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Until next time, happy shooting, be safe, and remember, gun control starts at home with you.